The wheels of justice are slowly moving. That's according to the mayor of San Bruno. The U.S. Attorney's Office filed a criminal indictment against PG&E for violations of federal safety rules for the pipeline blast in San Bruno. That explosion and fire killed eight people, injured dozens more, and destroyed an entire neighborhood back on September the 9th, 2010. Crop Force Justine Waldman spoke with the mayor of San Bruno today about whether this indictment is enough to bring closure for the community. Three and a half years after the pipeline explosion, PG&E now faces criminal charges. According to the indictment, PG&E knowingly and willfully violated a minimum safety standard for pipes carrying natural gas. Will never be the same. San Bruno's mayor is pleased with the action by the U.S. Attorney's Office and called the indictment a measure of justice, yet is angered that the utility company keeps calling what happened an accident. We're dealing with a corporation and uh, unfortunately a lot of their, maybe I'll call it smug attitude, but going forward has to change. The federal indictment slapped PG&E with 12 criminal charges, ranging from allegedly not maintaining proper records, failure to evaluate potential threats, and failure to prioritize high-risk segments of the pipeline under San Bruno. All San Bruno gets out of this going forward is a safer utility. That's all we get. Work is constant to repair the neighborhood where the blast killed eight people and destroyed 38 homes. If PG&E is convicted, it faces a maximum of a $6 million fine. People here still trying to get their lives back together want the harshest penalty possible. PG&E has all the money in the world and they can pay all the fines they want, but I think those people in charge need to pay. They need to be prosecuted, fired, removed, whatever it takes. It would bring a lot of healing and closure. In response to the charges, PG&E says that the criminal case is without merit. In San Bruno, I'm Justine Waldman, Cron 4 News.